Hi guys, my name is Justin Muffin and welcome back to Backbone. Okay, so we need to try and figure out how to get into the bite so that maybe we can find Juz. What do you want? Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. Okay. Bye! Fine. Why are you being this way? I just figured out how to run. But thank you, tutorial. An alley. Alright. That guy kind of looks kind of cold. And this guy. Uh, I can talk to him. Larry. Howard! Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Homeless dude? It's me, Larry! It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Ha! Who are you calling old, you old rascal? <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. Oh. So, do you live here? Are you okay? I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. I don't know. What should we say? Obviously, we don't expect him to be here, but is that like rubbing it in his face? Are you okay? Not really. Thank you, though. So, what's your deal? Maybe I shouldn't have asked him that. Obviously, he's not okay. He's homeless and he's in the rain. Okay, uh, dumb Jesse Muffin. <laughs> Alright. Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Can't tell, client confidentiality. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Alright, we should be making sure that we uphold client confidentiality. Can't tell, client confidentiality. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. He's short, skinny, wears a yellow hat. Here's a photo. I haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I guess he's there very often. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. I think I know where to look. Thanks, I'll catch you later. Bye. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Have any ideas of how I can get in? Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. Have any ideas of how I can get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal is with the bite, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Why would he help? Maybe we should ask what sort of stuff. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical, like hype and shatterfang. Oh. Get this, he started rolling out some kind of thing called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do the drugs. Monkey butt? Yeah, word is the new thing's the shit. Though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have kind of an herbal stink? I have no first-hand experience, but I guess it could be a more delicate way to put it. <laughs> oh, then how does he know what it smells like? And you think this Johnny guy would help? What did you know about the bite? Alright, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth. So, lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? The Bear family? Crime family. Had a lot of friends in high places. Then the head of the family up and dies and shit hits the fan. Air ended up dead too in the aftermath. Whoa. And the current owner is a relative? 
What's the owner doing? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. And you think this Johnny guy'd help? All right, thanks, man. And you think this Johnny guy'd help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line, his clients, I think. That might be it. We might be able to use Johnny, but why would he help us? All right, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Oh, that's so sad that he's homeless. And it's raining, too. Oh, that's pretty terrible. Don't share my fleas. Ew. All right, I'm gonna go then. I'm not gonna share your flea. Oh, that guy just puked everywhere. Maybe he's a little bit drunky. I guess we can go talk to Johnny. Yo, old man. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? I am. Name's Wallace. I'm Howard Loader. Pleased to meet you. You're Johnny, right? Fitting name for a grown-ass dude in a trench coat. What do you need? Hmm, you got any shatter fang? Heard you got monkey butt. Oh yeah, give me some of that booty. I need to get into the bite. Heard you got monkey butt. <laughs> the fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea, Striper? Hey, whoa. Is that because I'm a raccoon? What the fuck? Why is everyone so mean to me? Just because I'm a raccoon. I'm trying to help out this guy. Or at least try to find him. Sounds like he might be in a lot worse situation <laughs> if he's doing monkey butt. <laughs> it goes around, will you help me out, Larry? A friend. It goes around, will you help me out? I don't want to tell him about Larry. Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. Hey, kid, just get me into the bite, will you? But you know where to get it. Just square things up between, you know, the bouncer and me. You know what I mean. Just get me past the bouncer. I'll owe you. I will owe you. I will kiss your feet. Just bring them over here. And what's in it for me, you cocky bastard? Very, very shiny shoes. <laughs> Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. Oh, oh no. Are we gonna blackmail him? Just the warm, fuzzy feeling of doing your civic duty. Okay, fine. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. A PI isn't a bad guy to have owing you a favor. Do we be honest with him? Do we just blackmail him outright and threaten him? Just the warm, fuzzy feeling of doing your civic duty. Why do you think I give a crap? Now, boy, my friends on the force would love to know about your sleazy operation here. You feel me? Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if I wasn't serious? I thought we were friends. Look at you, a striking young fella. I see the good in your eyes. You won't just leave an old man hanging. Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if I wasn't serious? Hmm. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of that crap cake. Wow, I was trying to be nice to you. What a dick. Fine. What the heck, dude? That's rough. You don't even know me. Takes one to know one. Weird he hearing that from a squirrel with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. Look, trash is delicious. Just saying, so, so good. Just give it to me all. At least my mother isn't busting her gut in the farmlands. Farmlands? Fuck you, I'll get you in. 
but only so you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. Meet me at the entrance, fool. After you. Feral geese. All right, all right, all right, all right. What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny, another client for us to entertain? <laughs> Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Let's go inside. All right, we're finally inside the bite. Let us jazz alcohol. Beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Oh my god, this music is so good. Renee. Alright, sorry, I happen to just really like this jazz music. It's pretty cool. Hmm, well, you're unusual. Sorry. Not unlike that greeting. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will. Though it was just an observation. Renee Wilson. Howard Loader. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. Oh, well, thank you. But no, that's not my name. That's not fake. Maybe you're the one giving out fake names and you're projecting onto me. Calling it. That's a line. You would have said that no matter what name I gave. Well, I'm Howard tonight. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? Ever got tricked by a raccoon before? You're my first. Let's celebrate sometime. Take my card. Investigative journalist? It's a living. Usually. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was lovely to meet you. Goodbye. Alright, well, you were literally no help to me. Colby! Colby, you're such a cute little pup. Hey there! You, uh, here for the Eden Simmons show too? <laughs> I'm so happy to see her live, finally! I haven't heard of her before. That's a nice sound though. Not quite. I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an otter gentleman? Here's his photo. Uh, let's be nice to her. Haven't heard her before. Has a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's she's just so great. <laughs> uh, you sound like a big fan. This is the sort of music she usually plays. Does she play here often? I'm actually looking for someone. You sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for her. She's mostly all I listen to. Okay. But it's the first time you're catching her live? What sort of music does she play? Does she play here often? But it's the first time you're catching her live? <laughs> nah, my mom doesn't approve of the place. Had to do it by sneaking in here tonight. Oh, really? How come? If you don't mind me asking. Eh, I don't think she's stepped into a bar in her life. This place is about 10 times sleazier in her head. Sounds like it was worth it. It's good music. Ha! <laughs> well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. Oh my, the whole show. You know, I had to do my share of sneaking to be here tonight. Wish I could say. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? Here's his photo. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Oh, she saw him. We have a lead. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jade colored dress. That's a very, very specific colored dress. You could have said green, but you said jade. Was his hat green? Did he have a briefcase with him? Well, pretty sure we know. So let's see here. Audrey, are you uh, enjoying the music, dancing to nothing playing right now? But you look kind of weird just sitting there dancing when there's nothing playing. Just saying. 
Ingrid, you do not have a jade dress. I care less. Clarissa. You look a little lost. I know, look at me. I'm already, I'm like hunched over. It's that obvious? Well, I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident. I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Excuse me, Clarissa. Just because I'm a raccoon doesn't mean that I'm a troublemaker. Do I look like a troublemaker to you? There's an old saying about books and their covers, but you know better than me. Well, my cover today is a raccoon in a trench coat. Not too troubling in my humble opinion. What is it you're worried about exactly? Sound logic, if somewhat strange. And how should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? I'm Wallace. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. And what do you do for a living, Wallace? I'm a photographer. Private stuff, mostly. Creative. I like. My turn, then? Ooh, who says that in a conversation? My turn, then? I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Of course. Every single owner out there. I am the owner. Love my establishment. How amazing I am. Oh, allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. If I had known, I would have been more mindful of my manners. I've definitely heard that name before. Nice to finally meet you, Mrs. Bloodworth. Huh, let's see. If I had known, I'd have been more mindful of my manners, mon chori. No need to stand on ceremony with me, darling. As you say, do you have any specialties here? Folks say that our chef's dishes are to die for. Otherwise, just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. But what brought you here in the first place? I was looking for an otter gentleman, name of Jeremy Green. Know him? I'm just here to meet a friend. I heard you also provide more exciting services. Well now, that depends. What sort of excitement are we talking about here? Heard I'd be able to procure some high-grade monkey butt around here. This place must have a VIP section, am I wrong? I'm not sure you're quite qualified for it just yet. i do anything! Let me in! What's required? Can you at least tell me what I'm missing up there? I don't look exclusive enough for it. Keep your cool, Wallace. I'll tell you what, convince me that at least one word out of your mouth today was an honest one and I'll reconsider. Why would I lie to you? Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. No, how are we supposed to find Jez? Too bad. Guess I'll find somewhere else to give my money to. Excuse me, I don't understand. I'd really rather stay. Oh, uh, too bad. Guess I'll find somewhere else to give my money to. As you wish, perhaps our paths will cross some other time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I have a feeling we will. You too, Clarissa. Well, I think she kicked- Oh, she kicked me out! Okay, so this is a good point, I think, for us to stop right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to really like what you saw, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!